the equation of 3x squared plus 4x minus k equal to 0 has two distinct roots and 2 is one of the roots of the equation find the value of k and the second root so what are they saying this quadratic equation has got two roots or two values of x so just looking at this I can say well if you factorize this this should be uh, uh, 3x uh, so let's say 3x plus something 3x plus a times x minus 2 equal to 0 now where did I get this 2 from so I know <coughs> 2 is one of the roots so 2 is one of the root means so let me write that 2 is a root 2 is a root means the one of the values of x is 0 so this implies x is equal to 0 sorry x is equal to 2 so 2 is a root means x is equal to 2 that means when you solve a quadratic equation one of the values of x that you get is called a root so this implies or this is same as saying x minus 2 equal to 0 and that's why I wrote x minus 2 here so I, because I can set x minus 2 equal to 0 now how, how did I write 3a here yeah? because I know 3a times x is going to be 3x squared so I can say say well let's expand this so I can say 3x squared 3x times 3x times x is 3x squared 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x then you go to plus a times x is plus a x minus 2a is same as 3x squared plus 4x minus k so what we are saying is this quadratic equation and this are the same so and that's why I started with 3x and x here so well let me use a different color so if you simplify this this is let me use a different color so so this is 3 oops, let me okay so yeah so writing this I can say this is you can factorize the x out so this is 3x squared and if you factor the so can I write this as same as 3x squared let me write plus ax in the front so that will make life easier plus ax minus 6x minus 2a is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus k I'm just writing this to set it out properly so this is same as 3x squared and if you factor the x out I can write this is same as 3x squared a minus 6 times x minus 2a is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus k so now if you compare the left with the right what is that you can see you can see you can set this 3 is equal to this 3 okay this a minus 6 is equal to 4 okay so let me make this thinner so I can say well I can say let me use a white color so I can say a minus 6 is equal to 4 so this a minus 6 can be compared with this 4 that's the main step because you got 3x squared can be compared with 3x squared a minus 6 can be compared to 4 so that means a should be 10 okay so what's the next comparison I can say minus 2a is equal to minus k minus 2a is equal to minus k that means you can say uh, minus 2 times a which is a is 10 is equal to minus k so that means k is 20 so that's the first question you have to figure out what is a k so k is 20 so in place of in place of k in place of
in place of in place of uh, k I can put in place of k I can put 20 so this equation changes to so let me write it to 3x squared 3x squared plus 4x minus 20 equal to 0 so let's do it without a calculator you can use calculator do this so let's factorize this so well we can say the first step is you multiply 3 this number with this number that's the first step so 3 times negative 20 is negative 60 and the two factors of negative 60 which gives you 4 uh, plus 10 minus 6 that's the first step the next step is you have to divide this and this number by this coefficient so 10 divided by 3 and negative 6 divided by 3 so and this simplifies to negative you can divide by 3 so it will be negative 2 over 1 and then you put an x here and a, an x here so the factors are x minus 2 you can write in, this is 1x minus 2 and 3x plus 10 is equal to 0 now if you solve for x you can understand x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 10 over 3 so this is the second root so you can say the second root second root is second root is just the second value of x when you solve a quadratic equation minus 10 over 3 okay you can also do this on a calculator by going on the if you go to equations take get you go to equations polynomial and second degree so we know a is 3 b is 4 and c is negative 20 and then solve it so this is 2 and this is minus 10 over 3 so whenever you are given that one of the root is this you have to set that equal to that equal to that number so in this case we were told that x is equal to the one root is 3 so I made x equal to 3 and then make it a linear equation and from that you can get a quadratic equation